Managing Multi Branch Details. This presentation will give you an overview on using Multi Branch Details feature of Busy. Managing Multi Branch Details, as the name suggests, is managing of multiple branches of your company. For example, if your company has various branches located at different locations, like one in Mumbai, one in Haryana, that is in different states, then you can create separate profiles or separate logins for each branch of the company, wherein each branch can log in from its username and can enter its data and view the reports. On the other hand, at the head office, you can view separate report for each branch or can view consolidated data or reports for all the branches collectively. This is a very powerful yet simple to use feature as you can manage various branches of the company in the single company. That is in the single company, all the branches can feed their data and at the same time maintain the separation and the privacy of the data. To implement multi-branch details feature, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Create multiple branches. Step 2. Create branch-wise voucher series group. Step 3. Create branch-wise user. Step 4 and 5. Create branch-wise material centers and configure branch-wise VAT GST. Step 6 and 7. Maintain branch-wise opening balance of account master and opening balance and prices of item master. Step 8. Configure branch-wise taxation. Step 9. Enter various transactions from the branch and Step 10. View and print consolidated or branch-wise reports. In this presentation, first of all, we will collectively view the first five steps of the presentation that is, we will create multiple branch and configure that branch for VAT GST and create voucher series group, branch-wise users and material centers for the branch. Basically, all these steps are interrelated, so we will cover it collectively. To enable multi-branch details feature, click Administration, Configuration, Features Options, Enterprise Features tab. Enable the option of Enable Multi-branch Details. On enabling this option, a Branch Detail button will appear. On clicking the Branch Details button, you can create and configure a new branch. To create a branch, first of all, you need to click the Add Branch Master button. Specify the branch name, create voucher series group, create user and create material center. Specifying why in all these fields, a voucher series group, a user and a material center with the name of the branch. That is here we have given the branch name as Rotak. So a voucher series group, material center and user with the name Rotak will automatically be created. Specify address of the branch and then the state where the branch exists. Tag voucher series group, yes. If you want to tag voucher series group, then you can specify why in this data field and you can see a Rotak voucher series group is tagged to this branch. This voucher series group is created only when you are creating the branch. Disable voucher series group filter on report. If you want to filter reports on the basis of voucher series group, then you can disable this option. Configure VAT details. Specify why in this data field if you want to configure VAT details of the branch. Here you can change the TIN number as the state is different. You can specify a different TIN number that is the TIN number of that particular branch only. Any changes in the surcharge or taxation related details you can specify here only. Here you can see on the right hand side material center with the name Rotak is appearing and you can click the create masters button to create multiple masters for the branch. Here first of all you need to select the master type that is the master type for which the accounts will be created. Here we have selected the account option and then have selected the expenses indirect group. We have selected staff welfare expense and telephone expense and have specified suffix to be added as Rotak. Now two accounts staff welfare expense Rotak and telephone expense Rotak will automatically be created. Similarly you can specify prefix or any delimiter for the accounts to be created. Here we are creating one more branch that is Mumbai branch. We have specified the address for it and tagged the voucher series group Mumbai to it. While configuring VAT details, we have changed the TIN number of the Mumbai branch and you can see on the screen Material Center Master Mumbai is appearing by default with this branch. Click save button to save the configuration. Now we will go to administration, configuration, voucher configuration, voucher series group management option. Here on the screen you can see various series with the name of Mumbai and Rotak branch are appearing on the screen. As we have selected the voucher series group Mumbai, we have selected various series pertaining to Mumbai branch and VAT accounts for the Mumbai branch that is VAT Mumbai. Similarly, next we have selected Rotak branch and we have tagged various series to it also. Now we will go to users profile 
and modify various users profile on the screen you can see user with the name of mumbai and rotak are appearing although we have not created these users these users are created automatically at the time of branch creation with the name of the branch itself here on the screen you can see mumbai user branch mumbai is tagged and voucher series group mumbai is tagged now we will go to material center master and view the list here in the list you can see two material centers with the name mumbai and rotak are appearing you can make any changes in this material center masters like you can specify the address of the material center separately and so on well now we have covered first five steps of the presentation that is we have created the branch and created voucher series group users material center for it and configured vat gst's details now we will have a look at the sixth step of the presentation that is maintaining branch wise opening balance of account master you can specify a different opening balance of different branches and the combined total of all the branches will appear as the opening balance at the head office first of all we will create a new account master that is we are creating a new party account with the name star traders we have specified its group as sundry debtors and in the maintain branch wise opening balance field we have specified yes that is we want to maintain branch wise opening balance of this party on specifying why in this field a branch wise opening balance window appeared in which we have specified 115000 as opening balance of rotak branch and 95000 opening balance of mumbai branch on the screen you can see 2 lakh 10000 rupees is appearing as combined opening balance next we are creating one more party asta enterprises rotak here we are specifying no in the maintain branch wise opening balance field because this party belongs to rotak only and separate branch wise opening balances are not required with it similarly we are creating one more party om traders mumbai this party also belongs to mumbai branch and the dealing with this party will be done only from the mumbai branch hence there is no need to maintain branch wise opening balance for this party next we are opening stock account in the modify mode in this account we have specified maintain branch wise opening balance yes and we have specified value of the stock kept at the mumbai branch and at the rotak branch and the combined total value of mumbai and rotak branch will appear as the total value of the stock kept at all the branches inclusive of head office now we will have a look at the seventh step that is maintaining branch wise opening balances and prices of item master you can specify separate opening balances for various items and can specify different prices to be used at each branch for this first of all we'll create a new item with the name sony bravia led tv here we have specified the opening stock quantity as 44 pcs and total value of stock is 11 lakh rupees on saving the item master a material center wise opening stock details window appeared in which we have specified that 20 pcs are kept at rotak branch whose value is 5 lakh rupees and 24 pcs at mumbai branch valuing 6 lakh rupees on clicking the save button a branch wise price information window appeared in which you can specify branch wise prices of the item here we have specified that selling price at rotak branch is 28000 rupees and selling price at mumbai branch is 27000 rupees click save button to save the item master now in the eighth step we will see how to configure branch wise taxation that is we will specify different taxation policies for different branches For this first of all we will go to tax category master and modify the existing 12.5% tax category here you can see that 12.5% rate is appearing for all the branches that is mumbai rotak now we have selected the branch as mumbai and have specified rate of tax local as 13.5% that means when the tax category 12.5% will be used in mumbai branch then 13.5% tax rate will be applied similarly we have changed the rate of tax local to 13.5% for rotak branch also now in the rotak branch when you will use tax category 12.5% the tax rate of 13.5% will be applied till now we have done with the configuration part that is we have created voucher series group users material center branch wise and we have specified the opening balances of account master item masters separate prices for each branch and have configured branch wise taxation also now we will follow our ninth step that is entering various transactions at the branch office 
for this first of all we will open the company from the branch office on the screen you can see we have entered the username as Rotak that is we are logging from the Rotak branch if you remember in the earlier part of the presentation we have shown that with the user profile Rotak branch Rotak is stacked now all the entries you will do will be entered for the branch Rotak only here first of all we are entering a sales voucher you can see that the series Rotak is appearing by default in the voucher number what Rotak is appended we have selected the party as star traders and have selected material center as Rotak and have selected the item as Sony Bravia LED TV you can see that price is by default appearing as 28,000 because we have specified 28,000 as selling price for Rotak branch in the item wise VAT details window you can see 13.5% tax rate is appearing although with the item Sony Bravia LED TV tax category 12.5% is stacked but tax is appearing as 13.5% because in the tax category 12.5% we have specified that for Rotak branch local tax rate will be 13.5% now we are entering one more sales voucher this voucher we are entering for Asta Enterprises Rotak party this party belongs to Rotak branch only we have selected the item as Sony Bravia TV we have sold one pieces of it and have applied 13.5% tax rate. Now we will view display account books, ledger, account wise. Here we are viewing this account for Star Trader Party. On the screen you can see that the opening balance of Star Trader is appearing as 1,15,000 rupees. We have specified the branch wise opening balance at 1,15,000. Voucher bill number as Rotak series Rotak. So clearly it defines that this voucher belongs to Rotak branch. Now we are seeing the report for Asta Enterprises. Here opening balance is appearing as zero because we have not entered any opening balance for this party. Now we will close the company and again log in from the Mumbai branch. That is now all the data we will enter will belong to Mumbai branch only. Here also first of all we are entering a sales voucher. You can see a series with the name of Mumbai. Voucher number has word Mumbai appended with it. Party we have selected Star Traders and Material Center as Mumbai. We have selected item as Sony Bravia LED TV and you can see that price is being picked as 27,000 rupees because we have specified selling price for Mumbai branch as 27,000 rupees. VAT at the rate of 13.5% is applied. Click save button to save the voucher. Here we are entering one more sales voucher for the party Ohm Traders Mumbai. Enter data related to sales voucher and click save button to save the voucher. Now we will have a look at the account ledger for the party star traders. Here you can see the opening balance is appearing as 95,000 rupees. When we have logged in from the Rotak branch, then the opening balance is appearing as 1,15,000 rupees because for the Rotak branch, for the party star traders, opening balance is 1,15,000 rupees and for the Mumbai branch, the opening balance is 95,000 rupees. We are seeing account ledger for home traders also. Here opening balance is appearing as zero. Now we will have a look at our 10th and last step that is we can view and print consolidated and branch wise reports that is if you want you can view combined report for all the branches or can have a look at the separate report for each branch also. For this we will open the company and log in from the super user here we have used our username as admin. First of all we will go to display balance sheet here we are viewing the balance sheet for all the branches and you can see the figures appearing on the screen. Now when we will see the report for Mumbai branch only then different figures are appearing and if we see this report for Rotak branch then obviously different figures are appearing so it's a very powerful feature as I have told you earlier that you can view the combined data as well as the separate data for each branch also. Next we are viewing the ledger here we are viewing this ledger for star traders party and for all the branches. So here on the top of the screen you can see that opening balance is appearing as 2,10,000 rupees that is combined opening balance of 1,15,000 of Rotak branch and 95,000 of Mumbai branch. If you view the ledger for smart traders for Mumbai then opening balance is appearing as 95,000 rupees. Next we will have a look at the stock status. We are viewing closing stock alphabetical balances only for all the material centers and all the items. First we will have a look at the stock status of all the branches. 
Here it is showing that 35 pieces of Sony Bravia LED TV are there in the stock. If we view the report for Mumbai branch then 18 pieces are there and similarly if we view the report for Rotak branch then it will show 17 pieces at Rotak branch. Now we will again log into the company from Rotak branch. Here you can see the balance sheet. This report will show the balance sheet for Rotak branch only. You can match the figures with the balance sheet that we have seen from the head office and for the Rotak branch only. Now we will have a look at the closing stock alphabetical balances only. Here it is showing the stock as 17 pieces for Sony Bravia LED TV. Hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily use multi branch details feature of Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.